you need to learn a load of equations for maths because these aren't going to be meanies and aren't going to give them to you anymore. So here are the ones that you need for Edexcel Foundation and you need to learn these. They will not give them to you. So you can either use this video to make your own flashcards or just watch this video over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again until you remember them all. And that way you won't have to make your own flashcards. The cosine or cos rule in trigonometry. So when you have a right angled triangle and you have the adjacent and the hypotenuse, the cos of the angle is the adjacent over the hypotenuse. The sine rule in trigonometry. Well again, we have a right angled triangle and it is sine of x is the opposite over the hypotenuse. Pythagoras is theorem. Again, this is a right angle triangle, and it is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c squared is the hypotenuse. The volume of a cuboid. This is going to be length times width times height. Density. Density is mass over volume. So, labelling your size in trigonometry, if this is your angle here, your hypotenuse is the one opposite the right angle, the one adjacent or next to the right angle is your adjacent, and the one over here that is opposite to your right angle becomes your opposite. So, your area of a trapezium. This is going to be half A, B, a plus B times the height. And notice how A and B are in brackets, so you need to do those bits first. Speed. Speed equals distance over time. This is a good one, you need it for physics as well. Area of a parallelogram. I like that word, parallelogram. That is just base times height. It's just a wonky square. Volume of a prism, which is going to be the cross-sectional area, so this bit here, times the length of it. Volume of a cylinder, that is going to be pi r squared height, and r is the radius, that's the bit from the middle to the edge. Area of a rectangle. That is just length times width. Nice one, that one. Area of a circle. So that is pi r squared, where r is the radius, the bit from the middle to the outside edge. So, last trigonometry one here that you need to know, and that is your tan rule. So that's if we have the opposite and the adjacent, tan of x is opposite over adjacent. Circumference of a circle. That is either pi d or 2 pi r. Pressure is equal to force over area. Area of a triangle is half base times height. And we're back to the beginning again. Okay guys, you have to have to have to have to learn these. I'm afraid there's no way to make this any easier apart from learning them. I've tried to make it as easy as I can by doing the flashcards for you, so if you just want to watch this video over and over again until you are quicker than me, until you remember all of them without any hesitation, that would be a really, really good thing to do. Or go and make your own flashcards or quiz yourself, quiz your friends, but please, please, please learn them.